Hey, welcome to the book of Malachi this morning. I'm so glad you're with me. We're going to be looking at Malachi 2, verses 13 and 14. Let's read it. And this is the second thing you do. You cover the altar of the Lord with tears, with weeping and crying, so he does not regard the offering anymore, nor receive it with goodwill from your hands. Yet you say, well, for what reason? Because the Lord has been witness between you and the wife of your youth, with whom you have dealt treacherously, yet she is your companion and your wife by covenant. Now let's just pause there. We'll carry on tomorrow morning with the rest. But notice again what we have here. There's something that they're doing. They're coming. They come to the altar. They're weeping and crying. And, oh, I'm, I'm Mr. Repentance. I'm full of repentance. I'm so sorrowful. And I'm so consecrated to God now. And it says God doesn't want to receive it. Well, doesn't he want us to be repentant? Yes, he does. But they're coming, and this is all an act. This is, this is actors coming before God like, you know, he's the camera and I'm the actor. And, and I'm going to come and put on this big show. And God's going to see my tears. And he's going to be okay with, with, with me over here on the side being unfaithful, being an unfaithful believer, being unfaithful to my spouse, being unfaithful to my family, being unfaithful to my God. God's going to be okay with that if I just, if I just bring down enough tears? No, no, no. And so he doesn't like it when people are trying to act in front of him. He doesn't like it when people are trying to fake him out. God can't be faked out. Why do we even why do people even try it? It's just it's just unfathomable, but that's what we have here. God is a witness that people are not treating in this case their spouses faithfully. Oh, may God help us to be true and give a true example of following God. If we follow God, our lives will reflect a difference. If we're believers in the God of heaven, our lives will show something different than maybe what would happen in a common, the household of a common unbeliever. Certainly it would be very different. So God help us to be faithful, not be actors. A lot of people are Christian actors. They just come into the church on the weekend. They look pious they listen to the sermon, they maybe put an offering in, and away they go, driving home to have more mayhem and wickedness in their home. So may God help us to, to not do that. May we stop being actors, and may there be any, any weeping and crying. May it come from a heart that's completely given over to Jesus. And may we demonstrate our fealty to God by also being true, for example, here to our spouse, our wife, our husband. So may God be our helper. Let's pray. Father in heaven, you are not fooled. We come before you. We, 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 we get on our knees. We weep. We pray. We, we sound compliant. We make our voice waver. We're kind of doing an acting thing, though, a lot of times because, because we still have a grip on some sin, some sin issue that is unresolved. And Lord, we know that you will not accept us if we are clinging to sin. Help us to surrender all sin to you. Help us to receive forgiveness from Jesus and give ourselves completely to you, Lord. Your mercy is enough. Your strength is enough. Your grace is sufficient for us. Strengthen us, Lord, and help us. We ask for these things in Jesus' name. Now, amen. Oh, friend, God will be our helper today so that so that we will have tears. We will have weeping. We will have real repentance. They won't be fake. It'll be the real deal. The Holy Spirit will cause it, and God will be our leader in these things. May God help you today to experience true tears of repentance. And let's leave the acting to people down there in Hollywood. May God be with you.